じゃるかお前らにはどいてもらう Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Where today, guys, I am back on One Piece Banner Rush to bring you guys another gameplay video. Where today, guys, I'm doing gameplay on my six star boost to the Animal Kingdom Pirates, Toby Rompo Sakaski. This guy, as everyone likes to call him, the Dollar General or Walmart Kaido, is not good. He is not a good runner, guys. I I'll be honest with you. Getting these gameplays for this character was. Woo, a struggle. I love playing as step up characters. I find playing as step up characters more fun than playing as a bounty fest and EX character. But this character is terrible. <laughs> he is not a good character in the slightest, man. I don't know what Bond I was thinking making this character, but they could have definitely done a lot better. This character is not good at all. Do not use this character. To try to play in league if you want to use them go ahead i guess but don't expect them to be good i will say play for fun only a play for fun unit other than that yeah that's all i have to say for this character this character is not good um yeah like i said there's not much to say so let's go into the middle skill and trade see who's capable of and hopefully do good in league so for Melissa, we're going to be rocking. We're going to be rocking a Melissa that I use on every single one of my runners that I have in this game. And that is Jack Human Monster Form Metal, King Metal, and Flying Pan Metal. The main purpose of this metal set is just to provide me with as much capture speed as possible. For stats, we are focusing on a lot of HP, a lot of defense, and a bit of attack. Because that's just what the metals had on them when I was making the set. Character boost is fully boost 2 as per usual. To summarize his skills, uh, skill one is your teleporting skill. This skill will teleport Sakaski to the flag that's closest to him. Now, teleporting skills in this game are good. Most of them are good, except for this one. This is the trashest teleporting skill in the entire game. You think Kaido's is bad, like, but Kaido's is like, if you manage to hit someone with it, it will, you know, it will ward you. This thing doesn't. Like, it, it, good luck even hitting anyone with this when you teleport is so slow man the animation for this is so freaking slow like by the time you get to the flag i wouldn't be surprised if you got hit by someone or simply <laughs> you get punished because it's so slow it's so easy to perfect dodge like oh man it's such a terrible skill I don't know, again, I don't know what they were thinking with this, but yeah, that's like, that's your teleporting skill. Skill 2 is just your charge skill, use it to get to mid flag, as, you know, it actually goes quite a bit of distance, and it also boosts your speed and knocks people back, so it can be helpful for getting people off the flag, but other than that, that's all there is to it. To summarize his traits, uh, he has capture speed, if his, HP, if his HP is 8% or more, you get skill 1 cooldown when you use skill 2, and his only way of healing is by... Um, getting downed by enemies, which L L healing, man, terrible healing. I come on, you, I you should at least made it to where he heals when he grabs the flag, but no, let's make him heal when he gets downed by enemies. What a brilliant idea that is, Bondi. Yeah, this character sucks. His damage reduction, he has damage reduction, but it's terrible. You have to be fifty percent or less HP. It's only about thirty percent. So, yeah, this character sucks. Not not good at all. Don't don't bother investing into him. We're gonna what? Let's look into, into the. Uh, I can't speak. Let's go into the support now, shall we? We are rocking 143% support with the runner, straw pirate zone, and grand line tag. Main purpose of the set just make him as tanky and hopefully live as possible because this can't. I can't stop saying it. He sucks. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. If you do, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and to post notifications. And I'll of course see you guys next video, all right? Peace out, everybody. Alrighty guys, so here we are for the first match of today's video. A lot of you guys have been asking for the voiceovers to come back, and you or or you just been wondering where the heck they at. And honestly, I just been forgetting about them. I didn't even know you guys liked the voiceovers all that much, to be honest. <laughs> so yeah, here we are with the voiceovers. We're back. So as I said in the beginning of the intro, right there, in the beginning of the intro, use skill two to get the mid fly because that's like your um, main way of getting there. You do get a speed buff and whatnot. Now, do keep in mind that when I'm using this character, I'm not going to be really playing all that aggressive. 
You're gonna mainly just see me chilling in the background, just waiting for an opening to grab a flag or something. Because by all means, this character is not to be played aggressive. This is a really passive play type character. I know a lot of people don't like the passive play style, but there's some characters you gotta play passive. Because this character right here, oh my god, he does no sort of damage at all. I mean, he is a runner. He is a pure runner, but still, you can you can at least make him hit a bit hard. So that way you can, you know, defend or something like that. Now, I'm going to be using skill 2 to get the flags a lot here, as you're going to see me do right there. I'm mainly just going to be using skill 2 to get around the map and just travel. I jumped off the flag right there because I thought Roger wanted to grab it, but he just ran off. He probably did, but he just, you know, it was like, eh, whatever. So, yeah, I grab it instead. Now, since I'm running the runner tag, if you looked at the, um, if you looked at my support and stuff, I'm running the runner tag, so now the treasure gauge is going to be charged up a bit whenever I grab it, which is a really helpful trait, or tag, I will say. Now, this fight right here is going to be pretty freaking one-sided, as you'll see in a minute. Yeah, this fight right here with gear 5. This is a really one-sided fight. I mean, obviously, Sakasi can't really do much against Gear 5. But I can knock him off the flag, though. Yeah, I can do that, though. So, yeah. The, again, not much that Sakasaki can do here but stall, as runners usually do, or if you're a defender. Now, I, the reason why I dodged right there because I thought he was going to hit me. And he was. He was indeed going to hit me. But this game's lock-on system absolute butt cheeks, and that happened. He completely missed because it stopped locking on to me. I freaking hate it when that happens. I'm pretty sure you guys can relate when I say it's annoying. And we dip out of here because we ain't fighting Roger. What the frick we are? We are not fighting Roger. <laughs> you are out of your mind. And look, they got team boost too. You crazy. Now, we're going to make a 200 IQ play here and teleport over here. We're going to intentionally run over there so we can teleport. I know big plays, big plays. Call me Einstein because I am just that smart. I know. Now, we probably won because I grabbed this flag. I, I, I kind of forgot what happens after this point right here. So, yeah, I think I do go to mid flag, I believe. Because, like, what's the point of me sitting over here? No one's going to come over here. I might as well just go to mid flag. And the game locks onto someone to the wall. And, oh, I was about to walk over it. I was about to get smacked. Oh, the white beard dodge that? Nice dodge. And then... My dumb, I'm so, I just realized what I just done right there. I dodged in the white beard skill thinking that was the enemy's white beard. <laughs> That's how you know I'm used to railing, man. I'm so used to doing that as railing that I'm doing it to this, and this is my ally. But, yeah, we won, luckily. We got lucky, honestly. This character, it's, ooh, oh boy. But, um, that's it for the first gameplay, guys. So, um, let's move on to the next one, shall we? There's not much really to say about it. Alrighty guys, well here we are for the second match of today's torture of as this character sucks. I'm gonna be you're gonna be hearing me say that a lot. This character's not fun. So we're gonna try to get the myth flag. Now, of course, they got a king, so obviously there he is. But luckily he didn't try to get myth flag along with me, so I managed to grab it. And now we play the game of survival. Because you know, usually you get bombarded by everyone, but luckily it was just the ace and king, and the ace got one shot by Roger. Now, I want you to watch this part right here very closely. This is the reason why this is extremely annoying. Bam! Right there. Combo served by Roger. Ain't that fun, man. Like, I saw... I, I looked on the mini-map, and I see something just running full speed towards me. And I'm like, that's Roger. That's Roger. Get to the bottom. Get to the bottom quick. And I get combo served. Like, isn't this just... Isn't that so fun? Like, this game is so fun, man. Yeah, I love it when you can just have... Them all, a jolly good old time playing as a step up character only to get annihilated by an ES character that can stun you because he freaking can, you know? Yeah, this game is so balanced. But anywho, I, I grab this flag right here because these guys do not know what a map is and are not watching it, so easy cat for me. Now, I proceeded to do a teleport after this because I'm looking at the map and no one's near this flag over here, so I thought, okay, I'll, I'll just grab this, you know, easy grabs. Now, I think that Shane's going to grab it, but he turned around and let me get in instead. So, thank you, Shanks. Appreciate it. Not, not like I'm going to benefit from it anyway. Now, that was a good perfect dodge. I, I, I did, when I dodged, I did not think it was going to be a perfect dodge, but it was. It's like the OPBR gods are actually blessing me today. That's something you don't see every day because I get, I get 
so um scammed in this game. I get my favorite daughter be getting scammed hard, man. It's so freaking annoying. Nice counter, man. No, nice counter. Oh my god. Give that man the best gear five player medal because clearly that was like the best counter you'll ever see in your life. And I completely missed. Yay. Well, Okay, guys, so watch this part very closely. If you're wondering what happened right there, I tried to dodge King skill too, but my dodge was still on cooldown, and I didn't know that, so I ended up just taking a hit. <laughs> this is why you, see guys, this is why you pay attention to your dodge, to, to see if you have it, because stuff like that will happen. And I got jumped by the entire enemy team right there too. You, you, got, you love to see it, guys, you love to see it. I decided to bring Roger in because I needed to clutch this match right here. Because watch this. These these shanks think they're going to grab the flag. Come on, You really thought you were going to grab it. Nah, bro. Not on my watch. You want this flag? You got to get through me first. I tried to do skill two because I knew he was going to do come on, But it didn't come out. I'm just glad I didn't cancel it, though. But we won yet again. Whoopie-doo, man. I, I'm having such a hard time getting these game it, it was such a hard time getting these gameplays man i hope y'all enjoying this so far let's move on to the next gameplay Alrighty, guys so here we are with the third match of today's torture so in this gameplay in the very beginning of it at least you're going to see me really debate of you're gonna see me debate with myself of whether i should go for mid flag or not because at first i wasn't gonna go for mid flag but then a few seconds later i thought to myself like wait hold on the shanks are gonna go for mid flag and i don't want to leave him behind so i said okay let me you know let me go let me turn around and go for mid flag let me go help shanks out i mean shanks for shanks for i can't why can i not speak man Shanks probably doesn't even need my help, but I'm just going over there just to, just to do something, man. It's just so I'm not just sitting around doing absolutely nothing. So we did manage to get mid, and I went down to help the Luchi out, which we did manage to kill the Shanks. Well, I say we, it was really Luchi. I just jumped in and helped them out a little bit. So from here on, I'm just trying to play passive. I knocked the gear five off the flag because I just had it on me. Might as well, right? Just, just have it on you. You might as well do it. And... Gear 5 being Gear 5, they're going to do a drone gun because that's what they all do. And I somehow perfect dodged that. I don't know how. I I could barely see, man. I, I, I could barely see. This man is so freaking tall and big, it's really hard to see. Oh, what's this? I'm getting jumped. Let's go, dude. Yeah, I love it when I get jumped by two freaking EX characters. I guess they step up. Oh, you guys love it. You guys love bullying the step up characters, do you? Get you get off on that, do you? I bet you freaking do. Jesus Christ, man. Like I, I put this on myself, okay? I have no one else to blame but myself. I'm the one doing this. I decided one day. I really woke up one one day and said, you know what? I want to do Sakaski gameplay, and here the frick I am doing it, and I'm struggling. Uh, oh, oh yeah, of course I get hit by Kamu Suri right there. Of course the frick I do. Why, why the frick would he be a perfect guard? They gotta make the skill move at 100 miles per freaking hour, you know. And there's Zoro. Yeah, you guys can tell I'm having a jolly good old time. You you can tell, right? Yeah. Now, you can tell the amount of struggle I had doing this gameplay. This guy sucks. <laughs> I can't stop saying it. He sucks. He's so god-awful. Like, Bondi, what, what, were, what the frick were y'all thinking making this character? What, what, what the frick were you thinking? I understand you didn't want to make him broken because he's a, he's a step up, but come on, man. You could at least make him usable. Now... Watch this, guys. This is some tomfoolery right here. This is some, this is some goofy behavior. What is he doing skill two for? <laughs> I don't know what this dude was doing. I this is a, ex in a nutshell, guys. Ex players in a nutshell. They don't even do, they don't even know what they're doing half the time. They just be doing stuff. <laughs> this is what. See, look, guys. Look, daily preach up today. Ex rots your brain. The only way to keep your brain stable. Run a bounty fest as in a, or a step up character. It, it, it keeps your mind fresh, okay? Let's move on to the next gameplay of today's torture, shall we?
Alrighty guys, so well here we are with the fourth and final match of today's torture. Now, this time around, I actually decided to go for mid flag. I know they got a Roger, but you will see in a second or two if I'll be able to dodge Kamusuri because my internet was actually good this time. So watch this. Bam! Perfect dodge, baby. Now most of the time that will not happen because most Roger players will just keep running. But since it's Roger, he I got stunned trying to stop him. I was hoping to knock him out the circle, but nope, that wouldn't happen. Now you're gonna see the um, chase. By chase, I mean Hyper Yamazo chasing me down for one freaking kill because these EX players are up there sweating in their room because they can't live without that without their one precious kill for their in, for the KD that does not even exist in this freaking game. But yeah, that's how most players play, so I might as well get used to it. Well, I am used to it, but I'm, that's not gonna stop me from complaining about it. Now, since me being a runner, I wanted to grab this flag, but I saw someone jump down here and I tried to stop him so I can grab the flag, but invincibility skills, yeah. What's that little Timmy? You're trash at the game and you can't seem to, you know, go five seconds without getting hit. Invincibility skill. That's how it goes, man. Invincibility skills. I don't hate invincibility. Like, look, I don't hate invincibility skills. It's just annoying how, how, you know, how I say. Man, how should I, how should I phrase this? I don't hate invincibility skills. Rather, it's the the players make me hate it. Just the way how they use it. I mean, we all use invincibility skills to to. Okay, that's a bunch of boo hickey. But we all use you know invincibility skills to save us from a skill or whatnot. But bro, come the frick on. Y y I'm sure you guys can relate when I say it is really annoying having to put up with you know fighting someone and what the frick? How did I even get stunned? I didn't even hit Roger, bro. I didn't even what <laughs> this game is whack man this game is actually whack man what was that what, what was i saying um yeah invincibility skills yeah like i don't hate invincibility skills but stuff like that is annoying man you can't you can't you guys can't lie it is extremely annoying when you're fighting someone and you know you lose a fight because they just turn invincible you can't lie it's extremely freaking annoying but it is what it is, though. There's no use of crying over spilt milk, as we all say. And I died once again. It just bring in Roger at this freaking point. Not that it matters. We freaking lost anyway. I mean, I'll take it, man. Like, you guys know these gameplays. These gameplays were not the best. But honestly, guys, I just could not put up with it. I just got whatever I could get and stuck with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe on top post notifications. And I'll, of course, see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace out, everybody.